At the Benaroya Research Institute, we're not just studying one autoimmune disease. We're taking on all 80. And that's because what causes one disease is likely what causes another. Treatments we can think about for one disease we can apply in other diseases. Soon, you will meet Kendra Baldwin. Kendra is an individual living with type 1 diabetes. She is one of many, many volunteers who really help us understand and conquer all the autoimmune diseases. Well, I'm Kendra Baldwin. I live in Seattle over in the U District. Um, I'm a senior at the University of Washington and I'm studying public health. And I'm on the University of Washington rowing team for my fourth year now. I started rowing when I was 11. Rowing's a very interesting sport in that it's actually very physically painful. Um, it's not pleasant to do unless you get it perfect and it takes a really long time to get it perfect. I would say it was very, my life was very, very normal, um, apart from being a recruited out of high school athlete. Um, I didn't really think I had that many challenges that were ahead of me um, or that many things. I didn't really have a direction I wanted to go necessarily in terms of my education, but besides that it was pretty easy going. But then came type 1 diabetes. I was diagnosed five weeks before I turned 19. I guess my initial um, reaction to the process of getting diagnosed was shock, like why is this happening to me, what's exactly going on, um, a lot of confusion. Um, because I was over 18 and all education for type 1 diabetes is in children's hospitals, I wasn't actually allowed to get really any education at all. There really wasn't anyone there to help me through the, um, the entire diagnosis process besides my family. Well, my brother actually was with me the entire day when I was diagnosed. Um, he cut class, he hung out with me for the entire day and stayed in the hospital, well not the hospital, the urgent care center with me. So during my diagnosis um, and the months following, we'd hang out every Saturday night and count our carbs and watch TV. Um, just kind of learn how to do that whole process. Yeah, well, I mean, getting diagnosed and having to be able to balance being a diabetic and a Division I athlete um, really does challenge you to get really, really, really good at it, especially when there aren't very many resources to go to. Um, I guess for starters, having to think about what you're eating and know exactly what's in what you're eating is a pretty big change, especially for a college student and especially for an athlete. Yeah, I guess um, you really don't realize what you can do until you have to adapt to something. Um, so I had no idea that I'd be capable of being a really good type one diabetic, but apparently that's in my skill set. And how did you become involved in diabetes research? I s was on the JDRF website um, and I sent a little email saying I'd be interested in research and they set me up with the coordinator at that time, Heather. Um, and so she shot me an email and I've been doing studies there ever since. I guess part of the reason why I actually chose BRA to do research with is because they don't require you to be fasting most of the time. And for me, going in and doing a blood draw without having eaten before is one of the more difficult things. Um, but it's a really great group of people. There's a reason why I've been coming back for two and a half years. I do hope for a cure for type 1 diabetes. Um, I don't know if it'll come about in my lifetime. I honestly think type 1 diabetes is one of the worst and best thing that's happened to me. I mean, it's changed my life completely. It's made it very challenging to do certain things, but when you realize that you actually can rise to the challenge, that's pretty inspiring and motivating for yourself and for those around you. So I think that that has made me a better person in the long run. Once somebody has type 1 diabetes in their family, the rest of their family members have a 15 times increased risk of getting the disease. But we can test for that. We can find out if somebody is going to get type 1 diabetes long before their blood sugar levels are increased. At the Benaroya Research Institute, or BRI, progress against one autoimmune disease is progress against them all. Our work is not easy. We're not going to come up with answers immediately. We're not going to cure these diseases tomorrow. But it's important that we continue, that we take on that challenge. And as we now say, bring it on.